Hi, this is Jeff Lindsay, creator of Dexter. A lot of people want to know why Dexter as a comic book. And I have to admit to you that I am a lifelong comic book fan. This started when I was a kid. I'd ride my bicycle on Saturdays about five miles to the store in South Miami that carried the new Spider-Mans when they came in. And it went on through college when one day I left a Conan on the table by mistake and I was suddenly the most popular guy on the hall. So I'm thrilled to be a Dexter comic book and even more thrilled that it's Marvel. The reason Dexter behaves the way he does is that he's a sociopath also called psychopath. Uh, I've tried to do research and keep up on this and what I've learned is that most psychologists believe that people are born this way. There are a lot of sociopaths who don't become serial killers but virtually all serial killers are sociopaths to begin with and you can't change. What makes Dexter different is that this unbendable impulse to kill has been channeled into something special by his foster father, Harry. Dexter now only kills other serial killers. One of the special and interesting things about Dexter is his good buddy, the Dark Passenger, which he describes as a not-quite voice that uh, is almost talking to him on the inside. And the whole point of the Dark Passenger is that it's somewhere between his conscience, in a twisted way, and his spider sense, in an even more twisted way, that warns him of danger. But the dark passenger is something that guides him and actually takes over the controls when it's Dexter's playtime. As many of you will know, Dexter is married to Rita. And theirs is a highly successful marriage because it is also probably one of the most dysfunctional marriages on record. Uh, Rita doesn't have any idea what Dexter really is. And her preparation for marrying him was a long and brutal marriage to a guy who was addicted to drugs and beat her and beat the children. So she actually finds Dexter a very pleasant change. The real starting point for this story arc in this comic book series is an incident that I mentioned in one of the books just in passing a high school bully he met named Steve Gonzalez and the way Dexter chose to deal with him and when we were considering doing this with Marvel we thought wouldn't it be fun to expand on that uh, encounter just a little bit and say to ourselves what if Steve Gonzalez came back as an adult and what if He's just as bad as Dexter. 